Hello and welcome to the T Grip Pub channel. In this video, I would like to discuss semi permanent hair color. If this topic interests you, then please keep watching. How does a semi-permanent hair color work? It contains large and small color molecules that adhere to the outside of the hair while some penetrate the cuticle layer depending on the hair's porosity. Semi-permanent hair color works on the surface of the hair to deposit color yet lasts longer than temporary hair color. Okay, so most people call semi-permanent temporary, but it's not. There actually are hair colors that they use where you spray on hair color or hair charks or stuff like that. But we're not talking about that in this video. We're talking about semi-permanent hair colors. And those uh, spray on uh, fake colors and uh, hair chalks and things of like that are pretty temporary compared to semi. So that's why it says it lasts longer. Okay, so right here are uh, the effects of semi-permanent hair color. Small color molecules are deposited into the hair's cuticle in the outer edge of the cortex. It lasts between six and eight shampoos. And if the hair is unevenly porous, it may result in patchy hair color. Okay, so right here is a cross section of um, a strand of hair. As you can see, the cuticle scale is the outer por outermost portion of the hair. And it looks almost like dragon scales or maybe the bulk of the bark of a tree and uh, as you can see in the little color portion in the not in the center but on the, the edge closest towards the cuticle scale it has the cortex and basically those color molecules both large and small for semi-permanent hair color uh, they go in and they lodge themselves on the cuticle scale and the cortex but they can't penetrate too deeply because they're entirely too large so semi-permanent color hair color it kind of like it stains the hair i guess you can say and uh, they don't really last long because when you shampoo condition your hair blow dry it and things like that it kind of like flakes away i guess you can say and it fades so uh, that's why it doesn't really last that very long unless of course your hair is porous and if your hair is porous meaning uh, that it has little holes and gaps and cracks and everything in it when the hair color molecules uh, get into the hair, it's a little bit more difficult to have them removed, if that makes any sense. So the color can last longer and be more intense on porous hair than it would be on, say, virgin or untreated hair. Okay, so here's another diagram of how long it lasts for um, semi-permanent hair. As you can see on your left hand side, semi-permanent lasts 4 to 12 shampoos. As you can see, these numbers change because like I said, it depends on how porous your hair is and uh, that determines how long your hair color will last. But we're not talking about demi-permanent hair color, but it's just to show the difference between the two. As you can see from this diagram, the semi-permanent pretty much lasts, I mean, exists on the outer portion of the hair strand, whereas the demi-permanent is like it's all over the place. It's like on the inside on the outside and everything so uh, that's the difference and that's the reason why a semi-permanent it only lasts so many shampoos okay so right here i'm just going to give you a couple of buzzwords that uh, are used to help you determine if you're dealing with a semi-permanent hair color okay so the first step is that it should say that it is a semi-permanent hair color uh, sometimes uh, I notice that some of these uh, hair color boxes, they hide what exactly it is. You have to read the fine print, which means you have to come up close and actually look for the word semi-permanent hair color. Okay, up next it should say no ammonia and no peroxide. Now this is a very important one because I've seen online where they have uh, no ammonia or something like that. And they won't mention anything about the other one, maybe peroxide. I exact, can't exactly remember which one. But we're going to get into that in the video. And it also should say that it's gentle enough to be used immediately after a relaxer or permanent wave service. Okay, so the next buzzword that um, is normally marketed on semi-permanent hair colors is that it's gentle enough to be used immediately after a relaxer or permanent wave service. 
Okay, so this is really important because uh, there's no ammonia and no peroxide, which means there is no lift in a semi-permanent hair color. And that's the reason why it can be used directly after relaxer or immediately after relaxer or permanent wave service because there's no lift to even further blow up or blow out the, the cuticle, which means the hair is already damaged and in a fragile state. So you don't have to worry about any risk of damage or even scalp burns or anything like that. Okay, so the next thing I have, I'm not sure if this is a buzzword, but um, it shouldn't, a semi-permanent hair color shouldn't have to be mixed with an activator or developer. Uh, that's another important clue to let you know that you're dealing with a semi-permanent hair color because it's used uh, straight out of the bottle. You don't have to mix it with anything unless you want to mix it with anything. So um, this also includes like those fashion hair colors like your pink and your orange and all that other stuff and your natural ones, which um, I'm going to be using today in this video. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is another uh, buzzword, but um, you can use heat uh, to intensify its results. Um, you can't really do that with Demi and uh, permanent hair color. With a semi, being that it has no ammonia, no lift, um, there's no risk of even further damage when you sit them. Uh, sit underneath the dryer or use any heat it only deepens the color because it's deposit only it uh it only makes it even darker and it does last longer because it's able to uh penetrate the hair a little bit more easier okay so now i am sure this is a couple of buzzwords it touts that it's moisturizing and it adds shine and conditioning the hair which is really great because um I mean, you don't want to damage it e anymore, and it really does impart a nice, beautiful, radiant shine. Um, yeah. Okay, so another buzzword that a semi-permanent uh, hair color um, manufacturers um, say is that it blends uh, gray hair, but it doesn't say it covers it. It'll never say it's 100% coverage of gray. It'll just say it blends or it chases away your first grays. So that's another indication that you may be dealing with a semi-permanent hair color. Okay, now on to general uh, application. Uh, first of all, you want to read the instructions because sometimes they are applied to dry hair or damp hair. And to get the optimal results, I would suggest you read the, the instructions. Okay, so uh, you might want to apply petroleum jelly around your ears and along your, the skin along your hairline because it can stain your, your scalp and uh, your hairline. And who wants to walk around with, with um, stained skin after you did a hair color? You don't want anyone to know that you have just gotten your hair color and stuff like that. So that's something that you might want to consider. You might also want to consider wearing gloves because you don't want to stain your hands. Okay, and semi-permanent hair colors are typically applied uh, to towel dried hair after shampooing, but it can also be applied to clean dry hair as well. As long as you don't have any product buildup or anything like that because you want a nice clean canvas so it won't have anything to interfere with your color application. Also, when you're applying semi-permanent hair color, you want to start at the roots because uh, generally uh, people's hair is darker at the root and lighter at the ends or mid shaft and ends. So that's something you need to consider when you use a semi-permanent hair color. But then again, it depends on what you're using it for. So uh, this is general rules. So just keep that in mind. Okay, another general rule is that... Um, you might want to make sure you're uh, applying the hair color evenly because you don't want any you don't want to have any spots or uncolored sections in your hair i would suggest you follow uh the recommended processing time of course with a semi-permanent hair color uh, you can leave it on for as long as you want because there's no damage no lift or anything like that so um it only your hair can only absorb so much hair color at any given time so it's just a waste of time to just leaving it in when it won't do any more than the time that is recommended also with semi-permanent hair colors you might want to rinse it with cool water and towel blot it apply your styling proper preparations and style as usual and this is because semi-permanent hair colors they're easily removed or they fade quicker when you use hot or, or really really warm water 
cool water is best when um, using uh, semi-permanent hair colors because it kept, helps the hair, the color last longer. Okay, some of the cons of using semi-permanent hair color, you get vivid results only on lighter shades of hair color. So if your hair is black or very dark brown, it's gonna be very difficult to see it unless you're under sunlight. Secondly, um, semi-permanent hair color is a deposit only hair color. There's no lift, which means it makes your hair darker than what you already, uh, what your hair already looks like. Semi-permanent hair color can fade pretty quickly, which means um, I already showed you a diagram in the last four to six or four to eight uh, shampoos. They don't really last long because they don't penetrate the hair deep enough to actually stay in the hair long enough. Okay, thirdly, um, it can stain the hair longer on more porous hair, and make it, which makes it more difficult to remove or fade if your hair is really porous. Um, I already explained to you that porous hair has lots of little holes and cracks and everything in it, and sometimes those color molecules lodge themselves in there and they are more difficult to remove. Which means it's going to take a lot more effort for someone with porous hair than someone with virgin or... Um, not so porous hair for the color to fade. Okay, so semi-permanent hair color doesn't offer moderate or full coverage on gray hair. It can only blend it, which means that the lighter portion, like uh, the gray portion compared to like the darker black or whatever portion, it's gonna appear on the lighter portions of the hair than it is on the dark. And the reason um, this is uh, said is because when your hair is um, over, well, I want to say 20 or 15 or I can't remember 10% um, it'll kind of blend in with the hair and it's not as noticeable however if you have like 50 90% like that you're not going to get enough coverage because like I said before it only covers the surface of the hair it doesn't go in and um, make that much of a difference to um, add any color to gray hair Okay, continuing with the cons, semi-permanent hair cannot lighten your hair. For example, you can't go black to blonde or anything like that because like I said before, semi-permanent hair color has no lift, it is deposit only. If anything, it's going to darken your hair color. Okay, so the final con that I can think of using semi-permanent hair color is that the hair color can bleed on anywhere. Um, anywhere you rest your head, uh, if you get your hair wet, it can streak down your face or neck or anything like that, which can stain your collar or your clothes. Yeah, your collar, your clothes, your pillowcases, um, just anything you can think of. And it actually can stain your tub and stuff like that. So that's something to also keep in mind. Okay, right now we're going on to the advantages of using semi-permanent hair color. It's great, I guess the first one would be that it's great for uh, people who love to change their hair color frequently. There's no commitment to a particular shade. Um, unless you have porous hair, it might be a little bit more difficult uh, to remove. But other than that, um, uh, they, they fade so quickly, you can uh, easily switch up your style anytime you choose. That is depending on how porous your hair is. Okay, so the next advantage is that semi-permanent hair colors can be used over semi, other semi-permanent hair colors, demi, and permanent hair colors, or even pre-lightened hair. Um, semi-permanent hair colors uh, plays well with other colors, provided you don't, um, yeah, provided you don't use a complementary color of a particular shade. Uh, in that case, then. Um, it wouldn't play well with other colors, but other than that, um, yeah, there's no uh, problem with um, using a semi-permanent hair color over any other color. Okay, so another advantage is that it has no ammonia or peroxide, so it won't dry out your hair, which can be really uh, great for frail damaged hair, because most of the time, especially with those fashion hair colors, people bleach, bleach their hair in order to get that, sh that uh, pale yellow shade or whatever and then apply semi-permanent hair color so uh, the damage has already been done once they use the bleach so um, it's not even it's not added any more damage however if you just have like regular you know hair color or something like that or you have a, a little bit light uh, lighter hair color 
You can use a semi-permanent hair color and no worries about having any damage to your hair. Okay, so another advantage of using semi hair color is that you don't have to use a developer, which means you don't have to buy an applicator bottle, a bowl, or brush. Uh, most of the time, um, these semi permanent hair colors and applicator are already in applicator bottles, so you can just apply straight to your hair. Okay, so another advantage of using a semi permanent hair color is that it can deepen and enrich your present hair color. Say, for instance, if your hair color has faded and you wanted to have a professional do your hair, but um, you're in between, you can use a semi-permanent hair color to tone your hair for now until you can re get to your professional. Okay, semi-permanent hair colors can be used on damp or dry hair. Of course, you need to read your instructions, but I mean, as long as your hair is clean and free of product and stuff like that, uh, they can adhere to the hair a lot better. So, um, most other uh, treatments, you have to have your hair dry and stuff like that. So you can use it on damp hair or dry hair. Depends on what you want to use it for. Okay, so another advantage of using a semi-permanent hair color, it only appears on lighter shades of hair, which means you can make it as striking or subtle as you would like. And the reason why I say that is because like, you can bleach your hair and you can get a light, uh, much brighter shade or vivid shade of like say red or orange or something like that. Or... Depending on your natural hair color, say for instance if you are a dark blonde and you can put red in it. Well, anybody can do red, honestly, because I mean, if your hair is really dark, you can do a burgundy and you can see a burgundy hint in the hair. Uh, it really depends, you know. So, like I said before, you can make it as striking or as subtle. And it's completely up to you which what you want it, the end result to be. Okay, so the last advantage of using a semi-permanent hair color, you can use it after a relaxer or permanent service. Say for instance, if you have gray hair and you get a relaxer, you can use that semi-permanent hair color to tone uh, your hair without any damage, you know, or a permanent wave, you know what I'm saying? So uh, this would really work out for those uh, particular people. Yeah, because I think it's like two weeks you would have to wait after relaxer to get a color if you wanted a permanent hair color. So you wouldn't have to wait that long for a semi-permanent hair color. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about aftercare suggestions. You can use these if you want to. It really depends on you. But these are some tips that's going to help your hair color, semi-permanent hair color, last longer. At first, you want a shampoo with a color safe shampoo because those are specially made for color treated hair and um, they don't use any stripping agents that's going to strip your hair color faster than what it should be. Okay, so up next, I would suggest you uh, shampoo your hair with lukewarm water, more so on the cool side because again, heat causes the hair color to bleed and it fades a lot quicker. Okay, so thirdly, I would say use, um, you know, you could use the deep conditioners and your regular conditioners, but like if you use heat conditioning treatment, say for instance, you, if you sit underneath the dryer for such and such a time, or you do hot oil treatments, um, these products or treatments can cause the hair color to fade a lot quicker because the heat opens up those cuticles and it flushes out those hair colors when you sh um, rinse them out. Okay, so when you do uh, rinse those uh, conditioners out, I would suggest you rinse it with cool water because like I said, the heat will cause the hair color to fade a lot quicker than uh, you would like. Okay, so the next thing that I would suggest to help you keep your hair color vibrant is, you know, you towel blot your hair and you use your styling products or whatever, but just minimize the heat. It is recommended to like air dry your hair and just let it um, dry on its own because it's let's heat uh, but if you can't do that then at the very least minimize the heat uh, usage because like I said the heat causes the hair to hair color to fade a lot quicker okay so right here I'm just showing you Sally Beauty they have a couple of options these are the ones that I chose to put in the video of what a semi-permanent is as you can see we have a fashion hair color right there this is your regular semi-permanent hair colors has natural shades and stuff like that. These are unnatural shades, which are semi-permanent colors as well.
Okay, so uh, this particular um, beautiful collection, Advanced Gray Solutions, is a little bit different. Um, but yes, it is in fact a semi-permanent hair color, but it has um, some claims that I would like to talk about right quick. Okay, so it does say on the bottle that it's a semi-permanent hair color. It has no ammonia and peroxide. That's correct. It's gentle enough to be used right after relaxing. That's correct. However, when you get it to this part where it does um, gray coverage, uh, I just thought that was strange. But then again, it is an advanced solution. I don't know what technology that they are using, but this is something totally different. Uh, but it does last, last 12 shampoos. So uh, it's just something to look out for. Yes, so um, right here, as you can see at the very top, it has intense gray coverage for 50% uh, gray hair. Um, that's not normally seen in semi-permanent -hair, semi hair colors. So um, yeah, that's the reason why I brought this up. That was something um, that really um, made me look at this. But it also says, yes, it does say 12 shampoos, relaxing color the same day. So it's indeed, in fact, a semi-permanent hair color. However, at the bottom, it says you're not supposed to use heat with this hair color. And as you can see, it does, it says do not shampoo because as all semi-permanent, well, most of them that I'm aware of, after you apply them, that is the conditioning treatment. So you shampoo your hair first and you apply this and it's like using a conditioner with a tint in it. So um, I can understand the part about not shampooing. Okay, so up next is a trip to Walmart. Everybody has access to a Walmart, I should think. Here are those options that you can possibly get a semi-permanent hair color if you have it in your particular uh, Walmart. So uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of options. They got your Beijing and your, your dark and lovely and your splat for your fashion hair color. Okay, so in my research to find uh, semi-permanent hair colors to apply to this video, I noticed that this particular color has uh, opposing um, advertisement or claims. Okay, so this was in my search into the Walmart inventory to find uh, semi-permanent hair colors for this video for example purposes. But as you can see at the very top, it says dip my permanent hair color and it says no ammonia and um, it says it blends away gray and it lasts for 28 shampoos. And if you can recall at the beginning of this video, I says semi-permanent hair color doesn't last 28 shampoos because it can't penetrate the hair shaft uh, deep enough to even last that long. And before you say that that specifically said a demi-permanent hair color, when you look at the product instructions, it clearly says semi-permanent hair color is less damaging it's 10 minutes of ammonia free hair color. Notice it doesn't say, uh, it says no ammonia, but it doesn't say any peroxide. That's another thing to keep uh, in mind. It says it blends away grays and the catch is the 28 shampoos. So um, I did some research online so that um, you can understand what you're dealing with. Okay, so I've included this because, uh, not because I'm bashing a company or anything, but it's just something you should keep in mind. Uh, I explained to you all the things that a semi-permanent does, how long it lasts. And so now I'm gonna do the research that you should do online before you apply these hair colors to the hair. Okay, so here's a YouTuber. She's doing a video about the same natural instincts. It says demi permanent hair color, but when you look at the product instructions, instructions it says semi. As you can see here, she was using two bottles that she had to mix together. Here's another video of another woman doing the same thing. But if you remember anything that I told you in this video is that you don't use any developer um, or activator with semi permanent hair colors. You just use them straight out of the bottle. Okay, so just to sum everything up, uh, this is in fact a mystery box. So uh, we don't know what it is, but it's probably a demi-permanent hair color. But why do you have to go through all of that? You know what I'm saying? So just keep these things in mind.
Okay, so right here I'm just showing you a couple of things that this mannequin hair has been through. We did some highlights, we did a uh, haircut and color, we did some teasy lights and ombre, we did some red hair color, red color remover. So her hair has been through hell and back again. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the before what we're dealing with. Her hair color has faded and um, it's lost its vibrancy. It looking, it's looking kind of dull. And I don't know if you remember the video I did where one side turned out lighter than the other. Um, so we're just going to see the differences between the two. I just decided to use uh, my Clara Professional in 6N and my Adore in Honey Blonde. Honey, honey brown, I'm sorry. Honey brown is basically a brunette with warm golden undertone. So um, that, that's letting you know what that hair color. Okay, so this is the Adore. And as you can see, it has no alcohol, no peroxide, no ammonia. And here are the instructions. Um, it's applied to shampooed, towel dried hair. Okay, so this is beautiful collection. No ammonia, no peroxide. This is definitely a semi-permanent hair color. Here are the instructions on the back. Okay, so this is uh, one side of the hair. Uh, I believe this is the lighter side. And we can see what the hair is looking like. Uh, looking pretty dull and lifeless. However, this is the other side. I believe this was the darker side. And it's lo looking pretty dull and lifeless. Okay, so right here, I had to use a little bit of conditioner because the hair was very tangly and damaged. So um, that may have diluted the results. Of course, you can use it straight out the bottle without any dilution. 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 But I had to in order to get through all of her tangles. So that means that her hair is going to be a lot lighter than... Um, you can normally expect so right here i'm just working through the tangles so that when i apply my hair color um we can get an even even coverage so uh, then again i'm showing you right now that i'm starting at the roots and i'm starting at the front because i, I was afraid i might run out of hair color so you definitely want the front to be colored because you can always comb that hair color through or add a little bit more water in order to drag it through the ends and the very back so that's what you see me doing here um, yeah, so this is the process that I'm using in order to apply this particular um, semi-permanent hair color. You don't have to do it this way. Um, but yeah, I was just making sure I had enough coverage. Normally you would start in the back, but um, in this case, this special case, I'm starting in the front. So taking my comb and I'm working that hair color through. As you can see here, and by the hair being damp, it makes it easier to um, stretch that product because if it was dry, I'd be in real serious trouble because it would be difficult and I'd be lift, uh, making it work with um, dry hair and um, for some reason product, um, you're able to stretch it more with damp hair than you would with dry hair. So um, that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm applying it to the roots and I'm combing it through to make sure I got even coverage and I'm gonna work it through the ends and the very end of uh, the application. Uh, right now I'm just making sure I have enough coverage to get those roots because like I said before, uh, naturally in hair, your roots are darker than um, your mid chaff and ends. So I'm applying it to the roots first. I'm having a little trouble with the, um, the setup here. So, um, that's what you see me doing here. Now I'm going on the other side, making sure the hair is thoroughly coated. Um, just a little bit of um, anxiety that I didn't have enough product because I'm using the product that I have in my house. I didn't want to make any more purchases, run into the store and buying anything else, which is the reason why I had to use the 6N and the Door um, Honey Brown, not brown, not blonde, but Honey Brown. So I felt safe enough that I can use this particular shade on her hair. Had it said honey blonde, that would be a totally different situation. I don't think that would have worked here. So um, yeah, that's what you see me doing here. Now I finally made my way to the back a uh, few sections. Try to clip that hair out of the way. And again, I'm starting at the roots. And the hair is damp from heaven had been um, shampooed and everything already so you didn't see me do that on camera i've done it off camera and again i'm trying to work that color through combing it through stretching that product as best as i can 
because I want a nice even coverage and um, I don't want any spots, any missing spots. So now that I've made my way to the back, um, I think I actually put it on the top already. So now I'm using what remains. I have to take the top off and tap it on the hair to get any remainder out of the bottle. That's how bad I needed coverage, you know what I'm saying? So um, it would have been easier to have gone to the store, but then again, I didn't want to have to do all of that. So, and plus I have a lot of product that I wanted to get rid of anyway, and this would have been the perfect opportunity. So as you can see here, I'm just tapping uh, that extra product that's left in those bottles that you can barely get out. And uh, it's doing like this frothy thing where uh, the hair color is um, it's coming up pretty frothy, but Surprisingly, I was able to get all of that hair color to um, apply throughout all of her hair because her hair is a little bit longer than most of my other mannequins, even with this particular, because this was supposed to have been an updo mannequin and yeah, that's a long story. But um, yeah, I wanted to add like highlights and everything and now her hair is so tangly. The only thing I can think of is to do a big chop or something which I did in a video, previous video. Uh, so basically right here, I'm s separating the hair, uh, massaging the hair through um, to make sure I got even coverage. Right here is the finished results of the application. Okay, so this is a reminder what the hair looked like before we began. As you can see, it's pretty dull and lifeless. It looks pretty flat. Okay, here is the finished results. As you can see, a luxurious shine. The hair looks so healthy, even though it totally isn't healthy. Um, right here, I'm gonna show you this particular side. I believe this was the darker, the darker side. Um, this is what it looked like before. Uh, as you can see, looks okay. And this is the after and it looks completely different um, it looks like she's never had color in her hair before and it just has this radiant shine now we're taking a look at the other side this is the before of what the hair looked like before we applied uh the hair color up next is the after this is the the lighter side and as you can see it looks absolutely beautiful Okay, so in this video, we discussed what a similar permanent hair color does to the hair. We saw a diagram and everything. Uh, we discussed buzzwords to help you identify if you're dealing with a semi-permanent hair color. We talked about pros and cons of semi-permanent hair color. We talked about general application techniques, aftercare recommendations, and I also gave you examples of semi-permanent hair colors at both Sally's and Walmart. I also performed a demonstration of how to apply semi-permanent hair color. I showed you a before and after so you can witness the results of using a semi-permanent hair color. Now armed with this information, do you think a semi-permanent hair color is right for you? Please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.